friends. If you have a special dream story ideas or a magical adventure in your mind, let me know in the comments below, and I'll make it into a wonderful tale just for you. Don't forget, dear friends, to like and subscribe to our channel for more stories together. <coughs> Princess Sophia and the Golden Bird Adventure Once upon a time, in the enchanting kingdom of Enchantia, nestled amidst rolling hills and lush forests, lived Princess Sophia, a kind-hearted and adventurous young royal. Sophia had a special bond with the creatures of the kingdom, from the smallest butterfly to the mightiest dragon. One sunny morning, as Sophia strolled through the palace gardens, she heard a melodious chirping that seemed to call out to her. Following the sweet sound, she came upon a majestic golden bird perched atop a blooming cherry blossom tree. Its feathers shimmered like sunlight, casting a golden glow around it. Hello there, Sophia greeted with a warm smile, marveling at the bird's beauty. The golden bird cocked its head, its eyes gleaming with intelligence as it chirped in response. Sophia was enchanted by its presence and felt an instant connection. What's your name? she asked, her curiosity piqued. The bird let out a series of musical trills, its voice carrying a mysterious melody that seemed to echo through the air. Sophia! a familiar voice called from behind. Turning around, Sophia saw her dear friend, Clover the rabbit, hopping towards her. Clover was always ready for an adventure, and Sophia knew he would be thrilled to join her. Clover, look at this magnificent bird I found, Sophia exclaimed, gesturing towards the golden bird. Clover's eyes widened in awe as he took in the bird's radiant plumage. Wow, I've never seen anything like it. With a mischievous grin, Sophia turned to the golden bird. Would you like to come on an adventure with us? The bird chirped excitedly, flapping its wings as if to accept Sophia's invitation. Together, the trio set off into the vast forest, their hearts brimming with anticipation. As they journeyed deeper into the woods, they encountered magical creatures and faced thrilling challenges. Along the way, the golden bird proved to be a loyal companion, guiding them with its keen instincts and captivating songs. Their adventure led them to a hidden glade, adorned with sparkling crystals and cascading waterfalls. Here, they stumbled upon a forgotten treasure chest, its lid adorned with intricate carvings. Sophia and Clover exchanged excited glances before gingerly opening the chest. Inside, they found ancient scrolls and shimmering jewels that gleamed in the sunlight. This is incredible, Sophia exclaimed, her eyes sparkling with wonder. Just then, a gentle breeze swept through the glade, carrying with it whispers of gratitude from the forest itself. It seemed that their quest had brought harmony to the enchanted realm, awakening dormant magic and spreading joy wherever they went. As the sun began to set, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink, Sophia, Clover, and the Golden Bird returned to the palace, their hearts full of memories and their spirits uplifted by their newfound friendship. From that day forth, the Golden Bird remained a cherished friend of Princess Sophia, accompanying her on countless adventures and weaving its magic into the fabric of their kingdom for years to come. And though their journey may have ended, their bond would endure a testament to the power of friendship and the wonders that await those who dare to dream. In the wake of their triumphant return from the forest adventure, Princess Sophia, Clover the Rabbit, and their newfound friend, the Golden Bird, were greeted by a jubilant procession as they approached the palace gates. The entire kingdom had come out to welcome them back, their cheers echoing through the air like a chorus of joy. The palace grounds were transformed into a breathtaking spectacle of color and excitement, Streams of vibrant ribbons crisscrossed the pathways, and towering arches adorned with blooming flowers stretched towards the sky, creating a majestic canopy of celebration. As Sophia and her friends made their way through the throngs of well-wishers, they were showered with petals and confetti, their hearts swelling with gratitude for the outpouring of love from their subjects. Inside the palace walls, the grand ballroom had been transformed into a magical wonderland. Twinkling fairy lights draped from every corner, casting a warm, ethereal glow over the festivities. Tables overflowed with delectable treats and delicacies from all corners of the kingdom, tempting even the most discerning palate. But the true centerpiece of the celebration was the golden bird itself. Perched atop a majestic pedestal adorned with shimmering jewels, it was the very embodiment of grace and elegance, 
its radiant plumage sparkling in the soft candlelight. As the evening progressed, Princess Sophia led her guests in a lively dance, her laughter ringing out like music in the air. Clover twirled and leaped with boundless energy, while the golden bird fluttered its wings in time with the rhythm, adding its own magical touch to the festivities. As midnight approached, Sophia and her friends made their way to the palace balcony, where they were treated to a breathtaking display of fireworks lighting up the night sky. Brilliant bursts of color erupted overhead, painting intricate patterns against the velvet backdrop of the night, each explosion a testament to the magic that surrounded them. Amidst the spectacle, Sophia couldn't help but feel a profound sense of gratitude for the friendships she had forged and the adventures she had shared. In every corner of our kingdom, she mused, there is magic waiting to be discovered. But the greatest magic of all is the love and friendship we share with one another. As the final fireworks faded into the night, Princess Sophia, Clover, and the Golden Bird shared a heartfelt embrace, knowing that their bond was stronger than ever. And as they looked out over the kingdom spread out before them, they knew that their adventures were far from over, for wherever there was love and friendship, there would always be magic. <laughs>